So thanks for that there then, Doug. It's the St. Ledger Maiden next. It's St. Ledger Trial Maiden. And this is over one and three quarters. Captivity Balafri for T. Rogers, the top one. Hecton Eclipse for Davy Ladd. Then Coping Scrap for Vinnie Gerard. Mockalif Class, James Shea. Mudrayat Special for Steve Rand. Nevao for Darren Thompson. Papatia, Marty Lidham, Spiritual Isle. Paul O'Neill, Tartan Key, C. Beckwith, Vogart, Paul Rhodes, Beholder, Dan Hughes, Calte, Nick Driver, Dance Desire, Derek Hinton, Eternity Crystal, Graham Clutterbuck, Represent D. French, and Spirit of the Saint Ledger for Joshua Sutherland. Just about got them all in then. And they're all in their stalls. The rain stopped, and away they go. A little bit slow to go. Captivity by Laffery and Caping Scrap, but a long way to go yet. And this one, and Eternity Crystal in the Graham Clutterbuck colours is the early leader. With Vogart and Papatia also close up, Hecton Eclipse and Dance Desire are next, but the field are pretty tightly grouped. We've just got the one turn to go around. And it's Eternity Crystal is the leader from Vogart second. Those two are a good three lengths clear of the remainder who are headed by Dance Desire. Right over on the far side, Captivity Balafri has made up for that slow start and is now up with the leaders. They are very tightly packed that main body of the field, but they've got to get to Eternity, Crystal and Vogart yet. And they're a good three or four lengths clear of the rest of them. Looking towards the back, that represent in the yellow with the black sleeves. I've not seen those colours before, so that's a new trainer or just somebody's got some different colours. Check at the end, but well, it's Eternity, Crystal in front, Vogart second. A bit of a gap back to Hicton Eclipse. Then Dance Desire and Captivity Balafre, then Papatier in the purple jacket, Captivity Balafre. After that, wide on the track is Kaiping Scrap, one of the widest of all is Calteed, I think. Mockalif Class is also towards the back and represent is just the back marker, but it's going to be looking for a split up that rail. Might be quite lucky to get it, and it looks like it might be thinking of pulling out a little bit anyway, but at the top end, Eternity Crystal's now on his own in the lead. They're coming back to the pack with six and a half to go. Hecton Eclipse up on the inside of Vogart, then Papatia in the purple. The grey Beholder is getting a bit close as well. So it's Tartan Key in the navy blue with the white sleeves. The red and black of Saint of the St. Ledger would be an appropriate winner, wouldn't it? Then comes Muirat Special, Calteed, making a bit of ground on the wide outside. Represent is also working its way through the pack as well. And there's still plenty in this. And Eternity Crystal is in the lead from Papatia, who's now gone second. Then Hecton Eclipse in third. Vogart and Beholder, then Tartan Key. St. Mother's Ledger is still getting closer. Tartan Key, as we said, is still there. Represent is moving through nicely in that mustardy yellow jacket. Just hit a bit of a wall there. On that one's inside. Is Muirat special, but it's Eternity Crystal still in front. Beholder the grey chasing hard in second. Saint of the Ledger is next. Then Vogart. Papati has dropped out timely. It's Eternity Crystal on the inside of further and a half to go. Now being collared by Beholder, and Beholder takes it up. It's Beholder in the lead, and Beholder pulls away from Eternity Crystal. Vogart and Saint of the Ledger are trying to get close, and Muirat special has been pulled up, but it's Beholder in the lead from Vogart. As they in the final half, further on. Beholder needs the line. Vogart sweeps past on the outside. Just on that post, and Vogart takes his beholder, and then Tartan Key after that. Key after that one. Represent, I think, ended up last one. A strange race, and it looked like the grey was going to win, but Vogart, the Paul Rhodes horse, has come up and snatched it. Let's take a look at the full list of the finishings then, and it's Vogart for Paul Rhodes, the winner Beholder for Dan Hughes was second, he'll be pleased with that, Tartan Key for C. Beckwith was third, Hecton Eclipse for Davy Ladd was fourth, Kuiping Scrap for Vinnie Gerrard run on well to be fifth, and when the field scrolls down, we'll have a look and see who the trader is from that yellow jacketed one, because I've not seen those colours before, and it was Steve Rand, no it wasn't, yes, it, no, it, wasn't. it was Daniel French, so Daniel French has already had a winner this season over jumps, so obviously got a different colours for his flat races. And now we're going to hand you over to a new commentator. Nick Driver's going to take you through the next five races.